Hi, James Archer here from ShareLingo, and I'm going to talk to you about the Spanish Catch-22. So, um, <clears throat> Catch-22 is where you can't do one thing until you do another thing, but you can't do the other thing until you do the first thing. That's the Catch-22. Uh, one of the best examples of this is you can't get a job until you have experience, but you can't get experience until you have a job. And uh, that's a dilemma for so many people, right? And it turns out that this happens a lot in Spanish as well, in your quest to speak Spanish. You have to find somebody to practice with so you can gain confidence, but you don't have the confidence to approach somebody to practice with you. Well, guess what? The same thing is happening with Spanish speakers. And so I'm going to just tell you really quickly how to solve your Catch-22. Think about the Spanish speaker. They are desperate to practice English, but they don't have the confidence to approach somebody to practice English with them. Well, if you solve their problem, their catch-22, they they're they are going to have somebody to practice English with, right? And that's going to give them the confidence to improve their English and maybe approach the next person to practice English with them. And because you're practicing with them, they're going to bend over backwards to help you practice Spanish. And so you will have solved your catch-22. You will have found a Spanish speaker to help you practice Spanish and gain confidence so that you can approach the next Spanish speaker to practice with you. There you go. It's as simple as that. Change from thinking that you want to ask somebody to practice Spanish with you and instead just offer from your heart to say, hey, I would love to help you practice English um, and maybe we can practice Spanish at the same time. There you go. That's my uh, Catch-22 lesson for speaking Spanish for today. Ciao. Adios.